Hello everyone, I'm Logan Rose alongside Brody Livingston and we're here at Rose Field for a matchup between the Western Wolves and Eastern Extreme. And the rosters for today, the Extreme, it's just gonna be me and Barrett. For the Wolves, it's gonna be Logan, Luke, and Jake Tucker. And as for the playoff clinching scenarios, if the Wolves sweep today, they clinch the one seed. And as for the Extreme, if they can sweep, they'll be the one seed for now heading into Slate 5. With that, I'm not gonna make it too long. Let's go down to game one. Welcome to this heat-filled, ferocious furnace at Rose Field as the league-leading Western Wolves take on the 6-3 and three Eastern Extreme led by Brody Livingston. Rips it back up the middle off Livingston. It's an unplayable great hit from Logan Rose. Gets to second. Down goes Tucker. And up steps Luke Rose. Oh, Livingston knows he just missed. one in the right, Barrett Livingston. Oh, and throws it against the backstop, but that's one run for the Wolves. Logan Rose is dialed in against the master, the magician. Hockey Tuker looking to follow up the Quattro. 3-1, two outs. Oh, did that just happen? Jake Tucker goes. Deep. Oh my, the catcher from Phoenix Country Day. The Eagle hits one to North Scottsdale. One, two, and that's it. Nice pitch from Livingston, but not without major damage from the league leading Wolves. Oh, and he does it again. And that's it for Barrett Livingston. Rose has got the curveball working. Logan Rose looking like a blackjack dealer in Vegas. Throwing it down, and that's it! The Wolves dominate game one, blow away the extreme. They go to nine and one on the year. The extreme followed a, followed a six and four. A quick, thorough beatdown by the Wolves. We'll see you soon for game two. Four two to Luke Rose. Down he goes on a great delivery from Livingston. One out, top of one, game two. That's it, tough pitch from Livingston. Jammed Rose. He gets him out for the first time this series. And he does it again, drops down. Shows him one of his 19 different looks. And that's it for the Wolves. Shows bunt. And right outside, what a, oh, Rose does not even attempt with the left-hander getting down the line quick. That's a base hit. Look at that, Barrett Living. Oh my, what just happened? Oh, Rose throws it away! One of the biggest mistakes of the series, for sure. What is the ruling from Deputy Commissioner Carson Rose? There is acknowledgement by both teams that 
The runner goes back to third. No run scores here with two outs in the bottom of the first. Right here. And hits one right to Rose. He gets him out at home, but Livingston moves to second. Two outs, heady defensive play by Luke Rose. Throwing it against the backstop to take out Barrett Livingston at home. No controversy on that one. And that's it. Logan Rose comes back on controversy in the bottom of the first. We go to the top of the second. Still tied at zero. Nobody out here in the top of the second. Oh, and Luke Rose hits it to left. Barrett Livingston. Good play by Barrett Livingston in left to keep it to a double. Luke Rose gets on the board. And here come the Wolves again. Relentless offense. We've seen it all year. We're seeing it here again today against one of the best pitchers you'll ever see in wiffle ball. Oh, and he goes. That's a strikeout for Livingston. And we have one out here in the top of the second. Great pitch, and that's it for Tucker. Attention at Rose Field. Livingston goes a different look, and this fools Luke Rose, who throws the bat into the tree. We go to the bottom of the second, and as we say, there's only one team that can win. Right here, right now, Brody Livingston against Logan Rose. Oh, and that's it! That was one of the hardest hit balls you will ever see on the first pitch in the bottom of the last at the Eastern Extreme, courtesy of Brody Livingston, and one of the hardest hit balls you'll ever see in big league wiffle ball. Takes game two, one to nothing. What a game. We'll see you soon for game three. Lots of drama, lots of action. What are we going to see here in game three? As Luke Rose looks like he's taking the mound for the Wolves. Oh my. Barrett Livingston, there's no embarrassment in that pitch. That might have been as much movement as we've ever seen on a Luke Rose pitch. And down goes Livingston. Two outs now for the extreme here in the top of the first. As Barrett Livingston looks to make his mark. Oh my, where did that go? Just foul. What a bomb from number eight. It's got a Rattle, number five. Down he goes, but he's up there swinging. The youngest player in the league, not intimidated. We go to the bottom of the first, all tied at zero. Oh Every time. Down goes Rose. An impossible pitch, top of the zone. Two outs. And that's a walk. Oh, right down the line. That's a fair ball. Wow. We're going to have to go to replay on that one. Close call for sure. Did not hit the bag. Deputy Commissioner Carson Rose will be needed on video replay to make the call. Logan Rose is not qualified to make it. This is the game, potentially. Deputy Commissioner Carson Rose has ruled in favor of the extreme. Oh my, Baron Livingston rips one to left. He's been waiting on that all day long. How about Barrett Livingston putting the extreme up two to nothing here in the top of the second. Nice pitch, that's it. Okay, 
Down goes Rose. The Extreme only two outs away from an upset in this series. Oh, and Rose hits a curve. Does not choose to go to second on a single up the middle to confuse Livingston. Down goes Tucker. And the Wolves are down to the last out, but not without a clutch hitter and Luke Rose coming to the plate. Oh, and Luke Rose puts it into play. He is safe at second. Oh, my. And they are walking Logan Rose intentionally. Wow. To load him up for Jake Tucker. Uh -oh. 3-2, two, two out. This, oh, he swings and misses. The extreme capture the series. Two games to one. They move to eight and four on the season. The Wolves fall to nine and three. What a high quality series from both teams. You may see these two teams in the championship down the road. Thank you for viewing. We'll see you soon at Rose Field for another series of Big League Wiffle Ball.